Now we come to the portion of our program where we learn about somebody's particular bridge to faith. How did they come to faith? And let's find out. Let's ask them right now. My name is uh, Pierre Vogel in the passport, also called Abu Hamza or Salahuddin. I was born in 1978. When I was very young, I had always friends from uh, Muslim countries, like from Morocco, um, from Morocco or from uh, Turkey. And I had always contact with them, but unfortunately they were not practicing too much. But uh, I had always sympathy with these people because they were my friends. Uh, later on, I was a Protestant, but I went to a, um, like a Catholic school, and this Catholic school it's quite uh, strict. For example, in my in, in my time when I was there, it was not allowed for women to go to or for girls to go to the school. The boys are alone in the school, and so I learned a bit about Christianity. And when I was 14 years old, as a, as, a, as a Protestant, I went to church and had some discussions because I was always interested in Christianity and in the existence of God and these things. And then I was discussing with a Christian priest uh, or preacher, with a Christian preacher, and. Uh, about some things they seem to me like contradictions in the Bible and he admitted that there are contradictions in the Bible and so when I was 14 years old I lost uh, the uh, the faith in this religion and later on I became like an atheist or also agnostic I didn't know really is there a God is there not a God I, I was in, uh, in in great doubt if there is a is a, if there is a God a creator because I thought for myself if there is a creator we have to have a perfect message from him he has to create us for for a reason for a purpose and if there is no book that is correct in uh, in totality from the beginning to the end so it's a sign that there's no creator because how come the creator creates us and he does not tell us what to do so I thought yeah I will live for this life and uh, you have to have party and all these things and then later on when I was around 20 years old after my you know 21 years old I went to a, s a civilian service in Germany you have to choose after school the men have to choose between a military service or civilian service and in this civilian service I went to the uh, Red Cross organiza organization and I helped uh, old people I bring them always the food and when I bring them the food I saw that these people are living very lonely and in Germany all 47 minutes there's a suicide in Germany this is the official number and a lot of these old people you come to them and you every day you go to you go to the houses and you give them something to eat and they say no stay a bit we want to talk to you and uh, we're so lonely so I was thinking about the purpose of life and every week or not every week but a lot of them died in this in this uh, time so I was thinking about the hereafter, I was thinking about the purpose of life and I began to read about religions. First I wanted to know about Buddhism because the image of Buddhism is very nice in Germany. The Dalai Lama, he has a smile for everybody and so on. And so uh, I read about it but for me it gave not in my own impression it gave not too much sense. I even loved Christianity more than this because they don't really care about the God or Creator or a higher, higher being. Then, in this civilian service, we had to go for one week to a special camp. And in this camp, I met a guy from a German party, German political Christian party, not the big Christian party, but a small one. And this guy was talking about Islam, was talking very bad about Islam, and that he's in a Christian party. And I asked him, what is your, your aim in your party? So he told me, our aim is to destroy Islam in Germany. To destroy Islam in Germany, Islam is a bad religion, they cut off the hand, and the women are all oppressed, and they build mosques here, and there is a Adhan, and it's not from the German culture. Yeah, silly reasons actually, and, um, and I tried to defend Islam. 
because a week before, I think almost a week before, I went to the streets in Germany and somebody gave me a paper, a Muslim, uh, like uh, inviting to Islam. And there were some, uh, some nice, some points that I liked at the very beginning. Like that he told us in this, in this paper that the Islam says that it's not a new religion, but it's a religion of Adam and that all the prophets came with the same religion to submit, to surrender to Almighty God in sincerity. And this, this is something I liked. I said, SubhanAllah, uh, I didn't say SubhanAllah, but I thought this makes sense. It makes sense, you know, because how come there is one God and as there are so many religions, but the Islam gives an explanation. Allah says in Surah Al-Nahl, chapter 16, verse 36, We uh, gave to ever like in uh, all the, the translation, almost translation, the, we gave to every, to every nation, a messenger that he teach the people that they worship only the the one God, Allah, the Almighty God, and that they don't worship the false gods, the Tahut. And then the Islam gave this this paper gave also the uh, the the reason why there are so many religions that actually the messengers came with the, with the same message, but the.